Welcome to NKT Photonics. My name is Thomas Olsen. I'm director of R&D for the Coherus product line. We're here to look at how uh, we develop the world's most silent lasers for uh, quantum applications, how we develop fiber lasers, amplifiers, frequency conversion, fiber deliveries, and complete solutions for quantum and beyond. My name is Asger Jensen. I'm head of quantum here at NKT Photonics, and I'm standing in one of our many research labs. And in these labs, we develop the next generation of fiber amplifiers and fiber lasers. Fiber lasers and amplifiers uh, is a unique platform based on our photonic crystal fibers that allows you not only to scale power to incredible high powers compared to most other laser systems, uh, but the fiber laser platform that seeds this whole thing is also, also has its own unique properties that lends itself very nicely to some of the uh, cutting edge technologies that you'll find fiber lasers in that could, for instance, be uh, quantum optics where the extremely narrow line width and low noise properties and mode hop free tunability uh, lends itself very nicely to where quantum computers, quantum sensors and quantum metrology systems needs to be over the next few years. My name is Thomas and I work as an optical engineer in the amplifier team for the Coherus product line here at NKT Photonics. As the name suggests, our team uh, focuses on providing amplifier units for the Coherus single frequency fiber lasers that take their output power from milliwatt range into the watt range. And here's an example of such a unit. This is a um, boosted HP unit, which is seeded by a Coherus adjustic uh, laser lasing at 1560 uh, nanometers. And the reason we want to increase the output power is because we have customers who, on top of the excellent noise characteristics, of uh, the Coherus fiber lasers, they also want a high output power for their application. This application could be, for example, optical trapping of neutral atoms, where the trap depth scales linearly with the intensity of the laser field. It could also be within the semiconductor industry, where our lasers are used for inspection purposes. It could be for LiDAR measurements of wind velocity, or it could be as a high power starting point for frequency conversion schemes. Inside um, our amplifier unit, the amplification takes place in an optical fiber that is doped with rare earth ions such as erbium, ytterbium or thulium, depending on the wavelength that you want to amplify. Inside the doped fiber, the signal light coming from the seed laser is combined with pump light, which is provide by, provided by high power diode lasers. And the pump light excites the dopant ions into excited, in an, an excited state. And this then allows uh, amplification of the, uh, the signal light via stimulated emission. In principle, this process is fairly simple, but there is a big engineering challenge in optimizing your amplifier design um, within the physical limitations given by the absorption and emission spectra of the dopant ions. On top of that, the system needs to be able to handle the high internal power levels and it also needs to uh, live up to the high reliability standards of um, the NKT Photonics products. Finally, the amplifier must preserve the excellent noise characteristics of the coherence fiber lasers whether you want to use the um, output of the amplifier as is or as part of a frequency conversion scheme. 